Hi everybody, Chad with Just Add Wood. Today's project is the sad, sad fence you see behind me. We're gonna take down all of the pickets, we're gonna redo the gates, rehang new pickets, and make it look presentable from the street. Follow along. This fence project is part of many other projects that all sort of dovetail together, trying to put my two car garage that's currently a collect all to use as a wood shop, as a maker space. So, what I've done is I poured a little extra parking pad back here for trailer, and I've poured a 12 by 16 pad foundation for a shed project number two project number three is we've poured a 10 by 30 additional patio that at some point is going to get covered and i intend on regrading the backyard i don't know if you can tell on camera but currently the yard drains towards the house so i'm gonna i'm gonna grade this down and have slight fall away from the house going back towards the backyard once all that's done we'll be able to complete the fence you saw my last video you saw me build some bulletproof sag proof gates well i don't suggest you shoot at them but some sag proof gate frames built with half lap joinery go watch that video if, if you want to see how to build some gates that should never ever sag let the demolition begin well, after that crazy long intro, let's get started. What I'm doing here is removing all of the hardware and the, the pull handles and the latch and all the mechanisms. And then I'm just going to break free all of the pickets from the backside, drop them on the driveway. So you can see part of what I'm doing is working around some of the existing plants around the house. Although we're going to re-landscape and replant a lot of the plants, that climbing vine plant you see there in the forefront, very important to another person in this house and I was to absolutely work around it and not harm it in any way. So there I am taking the pickets out around that lovely flowering plant, and then we'll put the new pickets up just as carefully around that flowering plant. My plan here initially was to reuse the pickets for another project another time, so I was trying to save them, pull them off intact, stack them up, store them for later. The, the stretchers or the stringers between posts were old what you can't tell here is i've already set new posts and then rehung the fence up sort of haphazardly until uh until we were ready to replace the pickets so the the posts are actually already new cemented well into the ground they should never move they should support the gates just fine i'm also taking apart the existing gates stop the video here for just a minute. I apologize in advance. I'm not sure what happened to the footage of me hanging these gates, uh, but you can see here in this video, um, I've made a little piece at the top, a little bracket to hold the gates, to hold the two gates together in line with each other. And my, my driveway is extremely level, so I've just stacked up both left and right gates um, on equal blocks at the bottom. I've clamped them together in the center using three-quarter inch piece of wood in between the gates so I can have a three-quarter inch reveal between the two swinging gates. Um, and then I put the gates in place and just held them as level as I could, making sure they were square in the hole between the posts and level, and then attached the hinges that way. Um, I know the gates shouldn't sag. If you want, you can watch that prior video on, on how uh, I built the gates to not, to not sag. Um, but I knew that the weight of all the pickets would bring them down a little bit. So I did, I did install them just a little bit high in the center, knowing that the weight of all the pickets would pull them down slightly. And all I have to do now is to go ahead and measure in between the posts and cut out new stringers. Um, most of the stringers are, are fairly straightforward, just going post to post on the outside of the post. Some fences put the stringers inside a post to inside a post. These are just being screwed right to the front of the post, which is the way the fence was prior. I'm just putting it back the way it came. But there is a little bit of angle, so the fence changes direction uh, at the end of the driveway and sort of angles off towards the house. So I'm using an angle gauge to find out the angle to use my stringers, my three stringers, as a backstop so the gates won't open outward. These are in swinging gates, and so I don't want the wind to blow them, be able to blow them outwards. So I'm using the stringers cut at the correct angle and pushed up against the gate to, to stop the gates from swinging outward.
since I'm a one-man operation, all I'm going to do to, to help me hold uh, the stringers in place is just clamping a couple of temporary blocks uh, onto the posts so that I can set the, the stringer in place, make sure it's level, screw it together. The majority of this project and, and almost any other construction project is if you follow the basic fundamentals of construction, they're not that complicated. You just need to make sure you do a few things up front. And that's make sure you're square, you're plumb, and you're level. Um, if you, you know, if you build a house on a good foundation, it's going to last forever. And that's part of that good foundation is, is square, plumb, and level. So my posts are, uh, are straight into the ground, and they're standing up square and, and level, and, they're, and the, the gates are that way too. Um, so hang, installing the gates, level, attaching them to a level post, it just ensures everything swings properly, doesn't swing open on its own, uh, and everything everything works as it should. Same with the stringers. If you just put them on level, post to post, side to side, uh, everything everything will line up when you're done. What an uncomfortable silence. It's almost like a cemetery around here. Speaking of cemeteries, do you know why they put fences around cemeteries? Because people are just dying to get in. So here you can see where the, the three stringers fit firmly against the gate in the closed position so the gate won't be able to swing out on its own. Uh, you may be able to tell in the background sort of a lot has happened since we took this fence down initially. Uh, we've had uh, grader equipment in the backyard. We regraded the, the rear yard so the water flows a different direction. Um, you know, we've, we, we had a lot of, and we resodded. We've tore out all the plants and are installing new plants. It, there's, there's been a lot going on in the backyard that had to be done while the fence was down. So now that we can, now that all that's done, we can reinstall the fence, and that's what we're in the process of doing. Uh, so all I'm doing here is setting the height of the first pickets. The driveway behind the fence does have a slight rise to it. So if you were to just set the the picket height an inch and a half off of the driveway in the closed position it might drag into hit the concrete in, while you're swinging the gate open. So we did have to raise up the pickets uh, a couple of inches uh, in the closed position to make sure that they would clear the driveway uh, and throughout the full swing. Uh, so that's all I'm doing here is setting the first pickets. Once that's done, where I set up a string line across the top you can see there uh, to, to guide me where I'm, where I'm hanging these pickets. One, and again, once everything is plumb and level and square and good to go, it's just a repetitive process. So here I am starting to put the pickets on, and I'm just going to spend a lot of time on the first picket here. Now this picket overlaps, so from our perspective here, this right gate this picket will overlap the left gate just by about an inch and a half, two inches, so that it'll trap the left gate. The left side will be a walkthrough, or you can open both sides. Um, so I'm just spending a lot of time here making sure the first picket is level and it's square and it's overlapping the left gate like I, like I intend. Uh, once that's done, then it's really easy just to stack these pickets up. You can throw a stack of pickets against the fence, as you can see here, and, and just throw them on one by one, checking every, every now and then, every few feet every couple feet just to make sure that you're staying level and your gaps are um, consistent. Now I'm not leaving any spaces between pickets. Uh, these are just the really inexpensive pickets from the big box store. They're going to shrink. They're very, very wet. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to get a little bit of twisting, a little bit of pulling uh, as these things dry out. I might have to replace one or two down the road, uh, but for the time being I'm just putting them up against each other um, very tight knowing that they're going to shrink and there's going to be a small gap just as soon as they dry out and I'm just checking the swing of the gates uh, every few pickets just to make sure that um, the, the gates still swing freely 
uh, through the throughout the whole operation. So once all the pickets are in place, I'm um, able to swing the gates and they, they open and close just fine. Uh, we'll be adding some latch hardware, some gate hardware um, in another video. Stay tuned if you want to see, see that. Um, but otherwise, I was just able to take all the temporary blocks down and the, the uh, string lines and, and all the clamps and put everything away and uh, have a fence with no hardware showing from the front. Just looks like one smooth, continuous fence. Uh, and you can't really tell where the gates are from the street side, which is the look I was going for. Well, here we are everyone. Landscape is complete. That's silly, this isn't a landscape video. Well, here we are everyone. The fence is complete. The, uh, the posts are planted, the gates are hung, the pickets are nailed up, and all of the hardware is installed. So we have a drive-through gate here, and a walk-through gate over here, and it's completed. And so we can put a fork in it, this project is finished. <laughs> All right, everybody, it looks like the fence project's just about wrapped up. We have all the inward swinging gates uh, hung and all the hardware on and you shouldn't really be able to see any hardware from the street side, the side we're looking at now. I appreciate everybody following along. If you've been following along, thank you for doing so. Please hit the like button. It does help with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe if you like, if you like these sort of projects. Uh, you know, this is all an effort to uh, eventually turn a uh, two-car garage into a makerspace. So we have to do all these other things in order to facilitate that. And uh, eventually we'll be uh, having some woodworking projects, maybe some small furniture and some cutting boards and things like that. Other things I wanna try my hand at. And until then, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.